This is a drink slot. I know the lighting's a little low. It's close to the end of the day. Uh, ooh, ooh, actually, I do. Do get my oil change. That oil light came on. I was like, hey, cool. Yes. Yeah, okay. Alright. Huh. That might need to do that. What I'm going to do today, however, is lap it up. Brought to you by <coughs> the uh, Celsius Company. The Heat. Bringing it. Uh, this, this time the flavor is lemon. I mean, it's a cherry lime. Sorry. Uh, carbonated workout. Pretty bad British. Uh, serving for container one. Um, calories 15. We get vitamin C. Uh, your total carbs are 2 grams. Uh, let's say 60 milligrams of vitamin C. Riboflavin, 1.7 milligrams. Uh, niacin, 20 milligrams. And uh, 2 milligrams of niacin, vitamin B6. All that fun. A lot of really good stuff. Your sodium is at 0 grams. So, uh, yeah. That is kind of nice. I like that. Let's see. It's a green tea extract, ginger root. So, yeah, total carbs two grams, but uh, doesn't look like the uh, natural flavors. These are sucralose, so no high fructose from corn syrup. For those of you who are interested in uh, knowing about that, nice. Does have a high amount of. Caffeine. It is the 300 milligram range, so that's uh, that's pretty high. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Ooh, I can smell the cherry. Workout beverages. They are made to give you pump you full of all this goodness right before you you do your workout or um, before you just eat your meals. It's not dietary supplements per se, but I mean it is. These are uh, none that way. So I could see popping one back before getting on the treadmill or you know doing the doing the bike. Yeah, or drop of this for going swimming you know this is actually a really nice one um i like a good cherry and a lime together they always seem to be kind of a fun it's not margarita-esque but it does kind of remind me of that uh, so yeah this is interesting but it does have that that workout drink kind of that that almost the energy esque where you get you can taste all the goodness and it's not meant to be delicious um, but they've made it give it a little bit of taste to make it taste decent and I like that I like that they can do that um, some of these companies try a little too hard sometimes um, in some of these places that I've looked for some of these drinks and you can't get them in certain places. Like the Switch, for example. It's Amazon or... Polix? Polix? Something? Podix? Podlix? Maybe? Yeah. Anyway, I'm still getting over my burnt lip. So anything cold is good. So, those two little dots. You can see them. It's kind of a... Kind of just... Ugh, you know, you're like, oh, it hurt! <laughs> But the problem is I keep on tonguing it. Ugh. Anyway, it doesn't hurt in my mouth, but like eating hot foods is really difficult and most foods are hot. So I'm running to the shop to pick up my mug because I've forgotten it. I 
knew it was going to turn out. That's what I was so new. Um, I thought I would do a lap it up for you guys. Um, and then I will probably grab something to eat and then uh, head home. Um, I'm going to think of what I want to greet this as. That that blandness, that uh, it's coming. I think it's coming from the lime, but it kind of really gets at the tongue. It makes you just want to be like, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty tart on this one. It's pretty pretty high. On the others, it wasn't as. I mean, on the last one, it wasn't wasn't as bad. The Inferno Punch, um, but honestly, I don't know. I like this. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two on the five scale. Um, that being said, I've always said that like five in the ten scale is, you know, on my shelf. And if I had to choose between an energy drink to drink before I go, I would drink this. Yeah, I would. And I, I don't think I'm not sure I would drink the the Inferno Punch. I would probably go for this or maybe one of the other flavors. So I'm going to go ahead and grade this one as a 6 on the 10 scale. Um, kind of kind of a little bit lower. I'd like to go a little bit lower, but this is, this is a bit better. Anyway, um, and I might have actually graded, I don't remember, how, actually, I can't remember what I graded the Inferno Punch, but I think I'm, I'm putting more stock in it now. So if I had, I think I might have actually graded the Inferno Punch a little bit lower now than I would have when I, when I tasted it. Because I'm kind of thinking that maybe these actually deserve a bit of a conscious effort of level difference. You know, because these are beverages for purpose. Not just, not like Gatorade or something like that. But, well, maybe maybe it is. Maybe I'm taking it a little too seriously. Maybe only the heat get to me. <laughs> actually, did I even, did I even point that out? Did I even do this? Did I? No? What's wrong with me? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Leave your message down in the comments and I will respond. Um, I respond to comments. I do. I don't respond to all comments because sometimes they're not in need of a response. But I will usually pop it with a like, um, maybe even a heart. It just kind of depends on if I'm if I'm going to respond to it. If I never respond to it, I won't. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> but that being said, I definitely... Uh, like to hear from you guys. I definitely like kind of getting the correspondence back and forth. I hope, as I said, I hope you're all doing well, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, love, with enough time and guys to enjoy it all down to the last drop. Catch you guys later. What?